In this video, we are going to learn about lactulose. It is a very commonly used drug and we should know about its pharmacology. Lactulose is a non-absorbable disaccharide and it is commonly used in chronic constipation and hepatic encephalopathy. It has several mechanisms of actions, but we are going to study the top 5 most studied actions. The first mechanism is that in colon, the lactulose is broken down to lactic acid. This leads to decrease in the pH and the environment becomes more acidic. And in this acidic pH, the ammonia that is NH3 gets converted to ammonium ion that is NH4. The NH3 is absorbable form while the NH4 is non-absorbable form. Hence, it decreases the absorption of ammonia from the gut. The second mechanism is this acidification of the colon displaces the ureus producing bacteria to non-ureus producing bacteria. The lactulose creates a hyperosmolar load which absorbs more water into the lumen and it causes increase in the bowel movement and also decreases the time for ammonia absorption and excretes more nitrogen waste in the feces. At low doses, it acts as a prebiotic agent that is it increases the bifidobacteria and lactobacilli in the colon and it decreases the branch chain fatty acids. It also decreases the bacterial DNA translocation which causes increase in the intestinal transit and at the same time it causes bacterial overgrowth and improves the permeability of the intestine. Now let's talk about the doses. At low dose that is approximately 15 ml per day that is approximately 10 gram per day it shows prebiotic effect. Just now we have discussed that at low doses it shows prebiotic effect. But at medium doses which is 30 to 60 ml per day, which is approximately 20 to 40 grams of lactulose per day, it shows laxative effect. That is, at this dose, it can be used for chronic constipation. And at higher doses, that is more than 90 ml per day, which is approximately more than 60 grams per day of lactulose, it shows detoxifying effect. That is, it can be used in hepatic encephalopathy at this dose. So, that is it for the video. For more such medicine related videos, please subscribe the channel.